The best place to see Josh Springer's invention is at a ball game, but away from the action. How simple is the technology? It is, it's very simple. It's very, very simple. To fully appreciate it, you need to have two traits. One, you hate standing in line. Two, you have an affinity for beer. I got Bud Regular, um, I got Michelob Ultra. I, I don't, I'm the kind of guy that won't wait in a beer line. I go to the event, I pay good money for the seats. So just to prove to himself it could be done. Everybody looked at me like I was crazy. He set out to end the beer line forever with a dispenser that pours the beer from the bottom up. The speed is something to behold. Springer says he holds an unofficial world record for pouring 56 beers in one minute. His videos on YouTube have gone viral. Why do you think people get so excited seeing a beer uh, filled up from the bottom? That's a great question, but I still kind of giggle when I see it happen too. It just kind of it captivates you. So how do you fill a beer up from the bottom? Well, as you may have suspected, there's a hole in the bottom of the cup. But the key to making all this work is with this, a simple magnet. So when you put, put the cup on here, the magnet is suspended, and then the liquid comes in, and then you just... Right, the liquid comes in from, from around the holes or underneath the magnet. Once the beer is filled, just grab the cup, and the magnet forms a perfect seal with a tin ring embedded in the cup. What do people do with the magnets when they're done with them? They take them and put them on their fridge. Which leads to Springer's second great idea, get advertisers to put their logos on the magnet. There is, though, the occasional incident, with those wondering what's up with the strange cup. Oh, don't do that. A bottoms-up dispenser with four nozzles costs $3,400. But Springer says most of his profit comes from the cups. Right now, the system can only be found in a few major venues. The Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas was the first customer. So being able to go through lines is absolutely critical. So, yeah, I think that eventually every arena will have this. I'd like to see it just grow and grow and grow. I mean, we get inquiries from all over the world daily. Josh Springer isn't eliminating the world's most pressing problem. But putting an end to the beer line isn't too shabby either. Dan Simon, CNN, Las Vegas.